now in this lecture we will uh, study about the calculation of ground state term for strong field complexes so if we take examples of d configuration so for d configuration i have already told you that configuration from d4 d5 d6 and d7 these four configurations are the configurations which are having different arrangement of electrons in weak field and strong field so in weak field the electrons can be arranged in d orbital like this for weak field there are 5 d orbitals so the electron will be arranged as as in this in case of d5 configuration for weak field complex the electronic arrangement is like this for d6 configuration the electronic arrangement will be like this in weak field and for d7 configuration it is like this so it is different in weak field complexes and in strong field complexes so if we take an example for strong field complexes so in case of strong field complexes for d4 configuration the configuration become like this for d5 configuration it become like this so they become paired for d6 configuration all the electrons they are paired and for d7 configuration again for a strong field complexes the arrangement will like this so due to different arrangement of electrons in different field the ground state term for these four configuration will different for weak field and strong field complexes so now uh, we can calculate how we can calculate the uh, ground state term for strong field complexes so we will start with d6 configuration so in case of d6 configuration we can again calculate so this orbital is having the ml value of plus 2 plus 2 this is having plus 1 plus 1 this is 0 0 minus 1 minus 1 and minus 2 minus 2 So for D six strong field complex, the configuration will become like this. This. So for this electron, these two electrons, capital L is equal to plus two, plus two. The two electrons they are present in the orbitals with plus two L value. these two electrons they are having plus 1 plus 1 l value and these two electrons they are having 0 and 0 l value so total l value becomes 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 so it becomes 6 so l becomes 6 capital s spin of total electrons total electrons are 6 there are 6 electrons they all are paired so for this plus half for this minus half for this plus half for this minus half plus half and minus half so its spin becomes zero so when its spin become zero multiplicity will become 2s plus 1 so it become 1 and j will be equal to 6 only one value of j will be possible that is 6 l plus l so it becomes 6 so ground state term what will be the ground state term so value of l is 6 so we can uh, reduce the different terms if l is equal to 0 then its state will be s if it is 1 then it is p if it is 2 it is d if it is 3 it is f if it is 4 g and if it is 5 then h and if it is 6 then it is i S P D F G H I. So this is six. So term will be I. So term will be I. Multiplicity is one, and J value is six. So 
ground state term is 1 I6. So ground state term for a strong field D6 configuration is 1 I. We can say 1 I. So we can calculate for D5 configuration. So for D5 configuration, we can again calculate ground state term in a strong field. So the electronic configuration will become like this plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 L value and this is 0 0 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 2. So for these two electrons L will become plus 2 plus 2. For these two electrons it becomes plus 1 and plus 1 and for this electron it becomes 0. So again the value of L is 6. A spin. So a spin is because these are two paired electrons so a spin becomes 0. For these two electrons it is 0 but this is unpaired electron so it becomes half so spin becomes half so multiplicity will equal to 2 multiplicity is 2 l is equal to 6 when l is equal to 6 then the state will be i multiplicity is 2 so the multiplicity is 2 so the state is 2i or it we can write it as 2i half or uh, this is j value is j value is different so j there are there are the possibility of j values so j value will be equal to 13 by 2 so we can not include j value because actually the uh, determination of ground state term for a strong field complexes is required for uh, plotting tenebo sugano diagrams so there we don't require this j value so we can write the uh, ground state term as 2i so for D7 configuration, for D7 configuration, we can calculate for D7 configuration for high spin complex, the configuration will become like this. So L will become plus 2, plus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2. So L is plus 2, plus 2 for these two electrons, plus 1, plus 1 for these two electrons. 0 0 for these two electrons and minus 1 for these electrons so it will become 5 so L value is 5 so term will be H S P D F G H I so it is 0 L is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so the ground state term will be H now S there is again one unpaired electron so s becomes half multiplicity is equal to 2 so the ground state term will become 2s in case of d8 configuration we can again calculate the ground state term so d8 configuration in when it is a strong field complex so arrangement of electrons will like this so l will become plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 0 0 minus 1 minus 1 so it become equal to 4 now the ground state term will become g and s will equals to 0 because all the electrons are paired so multiplicity will equal to 1 so the term become 1g so it's for a strong field d8 configuration it becomes 1g so now you can compare the ground state term for all the con all, uh, all the configurations in weak field and all the configurations in strong field so only the four configurations d4 d5 d6 and d7 they are different in a strong field and in weak field complex their uh, ground state term will be different In case of D4 configuration, we can again explain how ground state term can be calculated. So in case of D4 configuration, the arrangement of electron will be like this and the value of L for each electron is like this. So for these two electrons, L will become plus 2 plus 2. For this electron, become plus 1. For this electron, it becomes 0. 
so it becomes 5. So 5 means the ground state term will be H. S is equal to there are two unpaired electrons, so S become 1. Multiplicity will become 3, so the term will become 3H. Again, L is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. S, P, T, F, G, H. So, ground state term becomes 3H. Multiplicity is 3 and L is equal to 5. So, ground state term will become 3H. Uh, we can uh, uh, give uh, an idea about this arranging, uh, arrangement of electron with the help of CFT. So, with the help of CFT, we can arrange the different configuration in the T2G and EG set and we can uh, compile the arrangement of electrons in weak field and strong field complex. So, in case of D1 configuration, in weak field complex and in strong field complex, we can see the electronic arrangement like this. This is T2G and this is T2G and this is EG. For D2 configuration, it becomes like this. For D3 configuration, and it becomes like this. Problem begins with D4 configuration. This is weak field complex and this is strong field complex. In case of a strong field complex, actually the difference between T2G and EG is very high. Like this. This is EG. This is T2G. So, in this case, the three electrons can be arranged in T2G set. This is strong field complex. Now, the fourth electron in case of weak field complex, the fourth electron will go to the EG set because the difference between EG and T2G is less. But in case of strong field complex, the difference is higher. So, the electron will not transfer to EG set. So, it will pair here. So, in case of D4 configuration, the arrangement will like this. In case of D5, again the electron will, fifth electron will go to the EG set. But in case of strong field complex, it will pair here only, the fifth electron. In case of six D6 configuration, the six, now the pairing of electron will start in T2G set. Here, the sixth electron will retain here. In case of seventh electron, now, now we can see that up to D6 configuration, there are the different configurations in a strong field complex and a weak field complex. Now, the seventh electron will fill here and the seventh electron will fill here. And if we see the D8 configuration, there are, you can see that the difference in the four configuration, D4, D5, D6 and D7. In case of D8, again, the 8th electron will come here. And in this case, 8th electron will come here. So, both the configurations, they are similar. We can again see the difference in the different configurations D4 and D5. Filling of D4 and D5 in both the case. So, this is D4 configuration of weak field complex. And this is for a strong field. They are different. Up to D3, they are similar, but uh, after D3, D4, yeah, there are one uh, paired electron and two unpaired electrons, but there are, in case of weak field complex, all the four electrons are unpaired. After adding one extra electron, so, sorry, this will go to the EG set, but here it will go here. So, there are one unpaired electron, and there are five unpaired electrons in D5 configuration. In D6 configuration, there are in weak field complex, there are four unpaired electrons and there is no unpaired electron in D6 configuration. So, they are entirely different. In D7 configuration, there are three unpaired electrons. In D7 configuration in strong field, there is only one unpaired electron. In D8 configuration, now we can see that both 
the configuration they become equal so only four configurations are different d4 d5 d6 and d7 only four configurations are different in weak field and strong field complexes so their ground state term are entirely different and this will help full in in the preparation of uh, plotting tanabo sugano diagram because tanabo sugano diagram they are uh, constructed for both type of complexes weak field as well as strong field complexes